okay uh, uh good morning to all so in this software development lecture series the next topic i am going to handle is on general principles of software engineering so i will introduce myself i am logeshwari from uh, assistant professor from csc department so this is a continuation of the first concept that is so what we discussed what is been the essence of software engineering so this is a continuation of the second topic that is general principles of software engineering so let's we move on to the topic so the first and foremost principle is uh, make it simple it's like if um, the first and foremost principle is the reason it all exists so it implies that if you are creating any solution to the product if it doesn't have any value to the pro uh, it's not adding to the product means don't apply the value to the system because it doesn't impact the system performance right so on that time you are not supposed to use that value to the system you are not supposed to add that value to the system because it does not affect your system performance at all so you are you are not supposed to use it so if there is if there is any really does this really add value to the system means if the answer is no please don't use it so it minimizes our time constraints so that is the first and foremost principle in the second principle that is keep it simple stupid in the sense you have to make your design as simple as possible so you should not be complicated to the client side if any client is seeing our design means it should be accessible it should not make them to use the system complicated it should not navigate them to use the system as complicated as much as possible so you should keep in mind whenever as a engineer as a software development engineer if you are developing any product it should satisfy the customer needs as well as it should simplify the work also so if whenever a customer is going uh, to access any system if it is easy means he can he, he, he or she can able to access the system best example is the atm machine so if i am going to even the uh, uh, even the educated or uneducated people can also able to use the system so that is the mean so the design here uh, the design should be very simple as much as possible the third principle is maintain the vision so you should have a clear constraint of success of the project the success of the project so like clear vision means how long this project will be successful you should have a uh, long term thinking so that's why we call it as a clear vision is essential to the success of a project if i am creating the project that project has to withstand for the many number of years so that is our main uh, objective of creating any software projects so that is the clear vision of the project okay fine next we move on to the fourth principle so like fourth principle says that what you produce other will consume so always specify design and implement knowing someone else will have understand what you are doing if any client is coming in middle of the project means you should uh, you should uh, explain them what is going on there okay you should not hesitate them to ask questions you should uh, you should explain them if they are asking any silly questions also you should be very you should have the patience to explain each and everything that is very very important because their customers are our main stakeholders so if you lose our customers automatically it will lose our reputation also next is that the fifth principle states that be open to the future never design yourself into the corner this principle says that if any new technology is uh, adapt is, is there means emerging means definitely you should adapt the technology definitely you should adapt the technology you should not say like let's say like that i won't go with the new technology like that you are not supposed to say like that you should definitely adapt yourself to the new technology so that is that is given here as be open to the future third one is the sixth principle says that plan ahead of reuse that is very very important because as a software engineer we should resolve we should reuse or we should minimize the number of resources as much as possible okay so you should reduce the cost and increase the value of the both reusable components as well reusable components is means if i used any component in earlier system the same component that can be reused in this system also so i don't have it will minimize my time 
so that's why it's said to be a plan ahead of use and the seventh principle says that think okay so think is that before applying anything you should think properly and then you have to apply the design so that's why we call it as think and then we have move on to the stlc you already know actually stlc is a standard model so it is a generic model each and every model is under with the standards so it is followed by the software project within the organization this model gives us a detailed description to how to develop a project maintain a project and replace or alter the software so in this uh, life cycle is consist of um, uh, like different cycles so it is main aim to uh, design develop and test the high quality softwares so stlc aims to produce a very very high quality software which meets uh, customer expectations so it is also called as the software development process it gives us the framework of how to create a software so it is very very important it is a standardized framework and then it it mainly uh, concentrate on it gives us an idea how to plan a project how to estimate the project and how to schedule a project it makes us used to gives us the project tracking and control easier so those things are very very important so security is also very very important because if there is any vulnerability in the software it has to be identified at the earliest step itself okay so that's why it is very important in the security in stlc so what are the advantages so if i have a secure software so it will gives us an awareness of the security concentrations by the stakeholders early detections can be identified cost reduction is also minimized overall reduction is also be minimized so these are all the phases like six phases of software development cycle like analysis design development testing deployment and the maintenance here we have given different types of models are there so but in our syllabus they have given only the waterfall model apart from that we have iterative spiral v model and the big bang model okay so thank you students so this is all about the so software engineering uh, principles and the stlc model thank you